Big health news as the FDA approves a blood test as a primary screening tool for colon cancer. But will this replace the more invasive colonoscopy? Western Mass News reporter Taylor Smith is getting answers. This test is another instrument. It may lead to uh, more people being diagnosed. A blood test for colon cancer has now been approved by the Food and Drug Administration. Garden Health Shield test is designed for ages 45 and older, with average risk for colon cancer, which is the second leading cause of cancer-related deaths worldwide. Registered nurse Judith Parr with the Massachusetts Nurses Association tells Western Mass News this is a step forward in modern medicine. I would say this is a welcome addition that physicians can now be armed with. But she tells us this doesn't change the importance of a colonoscopy, which tends to be most effective in finding later cancers. If the test is positive, that is generally indicative of a either a false positive or a later stage progression of the disease. So either way, a positive result will dictate that a colonoscopy be the next step. According to a study published in the New England Journal of Medicine, SHIELD demonstrates 83% sensitivity for the detection of colorectal cancer, with 90% identifying advanced neoplasia, or abnormal growth of cells or tissues in the body, but only 13% detected in early stages. Parr says with FDA approval, many insurance companies, including Medicare, may now cover this test, which is currently $895 out of pocket. And she emphasizes the blood test may not rule out the need for a colonoscopy. A colonoscopy still remains sort of the gold star diagnostic tool that we have. And the benefit of the colonoscopy is if precancerous polyps are found, they can be removed before they progress to that later stage of the disease. Now, the colon cancer blood test will be launched in the coming week and will be an additional option for healthcare providers and their patients alongside colonoscopies and at-home screening tests. And I'm Taylor Smith reporting for Western Mass News.